Hey guys, I wanted to hop on here and show you my current makeup routine. It usually takes me less than 10 minutes to do, super fast, super easy, and yeah, let's just jump right in. So I always start off by doing my skincare routine. The last step of that is moisturizing. So I've given my moisturizer a couple minutes to sit on my skin and kind of soak in, dry up a little bit. And then I immediately go in with this Lice Secure Skin Gripping Serum Primer. Leave this on my skin for a couple minutes, let it dry. And then the fun part, jumping into the makeup. So I combine two foundations. I use the Kat Von D Good Apple Foundation mixed with the Charlotte Tilbury's Charlotte's Beautiful Skin Foundation. So what I do is I use my flat top brush. Okay, so I squirt a little bit onto my skin, just like less than a pea-sized amount. And then I go in with my Kat Von D one get literally a little bit on my brush. Like, I don't even think you can see how much, just a tiny bit. And then I go in and spread this all over my face. And I kind of go in circular motions with this brush at first, and then I will stipple it on the rest of the way. I have tried to use a beauty sponge with the Kat Von D um, foundation and I don't like it applied that way at all. I like it much better with a brush. Oh, and I also forgot to mention after I do my skincare, I put on some lip oil on my lips just to try to moisten them up a little bit. I use, today I used a mixture of two. I use the Trust Fun Beauty Better Than Therapy lip oil and the Endota Organics lip balm. Just mix these two together and just kind of let them sit on my lips while I do my entire makeup routine. I'm gonna go ahead and do the other half of my face, doing the same thing that I did on this side. You can see so much coverage. The color is really, really good for me when I'm self-tanned and it literally, it covers up everything. All right, foundation is done. That in itself takes less than two minutes for me when I'm not talking to a camera. All the redness is gone. My skin looks super even. I really like the finish. I'm not too much of a matte finish person anymore. And I feel like both of these foundations combined give me just like that really nice, not quite dewy, but not matte. What is that? Like a sh I can't think of the word. Oh my gosh. Anyway, you get what I'm saying. Just like that really soft, natural glow that's not like too oily looking. I really, really like the finish of both of these foundations together. Next, I go in with my Jaclyn Pressed Bronzer. I have this in the shade Tan Lines and I just use a brush like this. Mine's dirty, but just ignore that. I don't get a lot of this on my brush. I focus it on my cheeks, my forehead, um, and then a little bit on my nose and a little bit on my... Oh crap, I forgot my um, my concealer. Hang on. We got it. I'm getting ahead of myself. So the concealer that I love is this Rare Beauty Concealer, and I have it in the shade 110N, and I don't use a lot of this. Really nice, chunky applicator. I do literally a tiny bit on my face, and that's all that I do. And I use the same flat top brush to blend this into my skin. It blends really, really easily. Just kind of stipple it in. I'm not dragging the brush at all, just blending it in. And you can see just like how easily that blends out and it just really brightens up my face. Can't believe I almost forgot to do that. <laughs> okay, done with that. Now we're going back to the bronzer, the Jaclyn bronzer in tan lines. I was saying I don't pick up too much of this on my brush. I literally just do a little dab. A lot goes, or a little bit goes a long way with this stuff. And I focus it on my cheeks. I've already like put quite a bit on this side before I did the concealer. So I'm mainly focusing it on this side now. Just blending that out gives my face a little bit 
of dimension. Get the same amount on my brush to do my forehead. And then bring it down on my temples just a little bit, my hair. I don't usually do, I usually have my hair pinned back, but just trying to look cute for the video. All right, and then I just take a little bit more and do it right on the front of my forehead. And then take the littlest dab ever and put some on the tip of my nose. I just like the way it looks. We are all bronzed up. The next step is blush. Um, I go in with a really natural looking one. I use the Burt's Bees blush. I don't even know if they still sell this. I've been using this stuff for years and it just doesn't seem to go away. So <laughs> I use a big chunky blush brush dab a couple times and just keep this on the high points of my cheekbones. And I also put a little dab of this on my nose as well, just on top of that bronzer. Look how good my skin looks though. I have no filters on this video and it just looks flawless. I love the two foundations separately, but together it's just like so much better. All right, next up, brows. I use the Refi Brow Gel. This is just like a clear glue, basically, to slap your brows down. Literally just brush this through my brows. And you kind of have to work quickly with this product. It likes to dry pretty fast. And then if you don't do it quickly enough, you get like little white particles in your brows, which is what you want to avoid when you're brushing them out. Take my spoolie and just brush up because I like that like fluffy brow look just very gently this product is pretty strong so it doesn't take too much force to get your brows to stay all right so it's nothing drastic it just tames them a little bit fluffs them up a little bit and then I also in a minute will go in with um a brow pencil to darken them up a little bit but I'm gonna go ahead and do the other eye now that my little fluffy brows are done, I can go in with a brow pencil. This is not my favorite one. I'm not going to I'm not going to recommend this one. I do recommend the NYX brow pencil. That one's really good. It's extremely inexpensive. I think I used the brown or dark brown shade in that one. Um, this is just a random one that I got in my last boxy charm. Not really the right color for me and. I don't know it's not my favorite but I keep it pretty light with this I try to outline the tails of my brow just like ever so slightly fill them in my arch just a little bit because my brows are a little sparse there and then I like to go underneath very lightly and just make a more defined line under there and then I do just a couple very light brush strokes at the front of my brow, just to fill it in a little tiny bit. And then I will just brush it out. Being super gentle because I don't wanna ruin the brow gel that I just put on there. So you can tell it just kind of, well, that looks kind of crappy, but <laughs> I've gotta finish brushing it out. Okay, so it just darkens up my brow a little bit, makes them more defined, emphasizes the arch a little bit compared to this eye. Looks a lot better, right? So I'm gonna go do the same exact thing on the other side. Now I go ahead and I get out my setting spray. I have two different ones that I switch back and forth using. I use this, I don't even know how to pronounce this brand. I use this one when I want my skin to be very dewy. But today I'm going to be using my MAC Fix Plus. This is a classic. I have literally the tiniest bit left. I use this all the time. So I do this. Let me spray and then I'll talk. I drench my face in this. I let it dry. I do this before my mascara because I feel like every time I do it after my mascara just... I never wait long enough after my mascara, so it just runs and it gets messy and I just, it's easier for me to do it 
before, but I mean, user's preference, do whatever you want. But I let this dry for just a couple minutes and then I go in with my mascara. This is another mascara that I don't really recommend, but I ran out of my Rare Beauty one that I love that I will link below. So this is just a random one I got in my BoxyCharm that I'm using until I can make it to the store, which hopefully that happens today, but the days keep getting away from me. And a little life update, um, 23 weeks pregnant as of Thursday. So we're trucking along more than halfway and the nursery is getting to be complete. I still need a couple things, um, but we're both so excited. We had our gender reveal, little girl. Very exciting stuff. If you don't follow me on Instagram already, go ahead and do that. I will leave my Instagram handle in the description box. It's Diana Lealoha. Kind of hard to spell, but you can copy and paste. Now that my face is dry, I go ahead and apply my, mas my mascara as normal. And I don't do anything crazy with this. On my regular makeup days, I don't put eyeshadow on. So that is obviously why I am skipping over that step today. Keeping it simple. This is like my everyday go to work face of makeup. Mascara is done. And the last step of my makeup routine is my lip product. So I have been loving the Jaclyn liquid lipsticks lately. The one, uh, the shade Truth specifically is very, very pretty. It goes with pretty much every outfit I try to wear. It is really like, just like the prettiest nude color ever. And that is it. I keep it super simple most days. Most days, like I said, this takes me less than 10 minutes to do in the mornings. And I just, I feel like it looks so good. I feel like my skin just looks flawless. Everything blends together really well. It lasts me all day long. I will of course link everything that I use down below in the description box and the shades that I use if you have a similar complexion. To me, I will link my sweater. I got this off of Amazon. Fits really well. It's actually warm. It's very soft and highly recommend um, this sweater as well. But yeah, don't forget to follow me on Instagram. Follow me on here so you don't miss any of my videos. And I will see you guys next time.